What's up everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Alex Costa and this is one of my favorite topics here on this channel. It's grooming, right? I love talking about grooming just because I think it makes a huge difference in the way that you look. It has an amazing impact on you as a person and how people perceive you, how people see you. The reality of the matter is think people are gonna judge you no matter what, right? So why not look good if not for other people, for yourself? Looking good will definitely give you more opportunities in life like dating opportunities, job opportunities, friendship and partnerships and so much more besides giving you that incredible confidence boost. So today I have seven horrible mistakes when it comes to grooming that men make all the time. And these are things that if you do them, now is the time to fix them, right? We're coming out of our homes, lockdowns are ending everywhere, things are looking a little bit better. So let's look our absolute best. And if you like today's video, then you're gonna love this channel. Hit that subscribe button below because I love to talk about men's fashion, grooming, hair, dating advice, and so much more. And I have so many new videos coming out for you guys very soon. So let's get started with the first one. I wanna get the most obvious one out of the way first, and that is of course, talking about your beard, your facial hair. As you can see, I am letting my facial hair grow. And I know you guys know it because I get so many comments about it. Either you love it or hate it, but there's a lot of comments going on right now. I get it, I'm growing out my beard. But the thing is, it's still looking sharp, right? Yes, it's longer, it's poofier, right? Of course, because it's longer. But the thing is, you can see that it's lined up. I shave it over here. I line it up and shave it over here. And of course, if there's any long hairs that look really crazy and wild and wiry, I go ahead and use scissors to cut them. Now, in the process of growing my beard, of course, it's not going to look as good as if I had it trimmed like I did before. But that doesn't mean that I'm gonna let it grow crazy and bushy right? And uneven. So it's really all about making sure that you don't look like a caveman. That is all that it takes, guys. I am serious. I see some guys walking around in LA and I'm like, you know what? That's a good looking dude, but he just is not taking care of himself. And you can clearly see that. And if I see it, girls see it too, right? Job opportunities will not come as easily because nobody wants that person to represent their brand and their business. So just at least be aware of what your facial hair looks like every day. Take a look at it. I've been brushing mine down now that it's longer because I'll tell you what, I know it sounds crazy, but it will change your life. You might miss out on a huge opportunity if you don't look your best. So now that we got the most visible, the most obvious one out of the way, the next one that I wanna talk about is having a hairy back. Look, having a hairy back is all right if you're not going out, if you're not taking your shirt off, if you're not seeing anyone, if your girlfriend likes it, your partner likes it, fine. But most of the time, outside of that, there's just no reason to have a hairy back. It just does not look very good. It looks like you're not taking care of yourself again, right? So what I would say is there's a lot of longer shavers, like the back shaver or whatever, that you can use to shave your own back. Or if you have a partner, you know, ask that partner to help you out. Ask your girlfriend to help you out. She's probably gonna be mad for a second, but hey, baby, this is to make me look amazing for you. So you know what? If you wanna help me, great. If not, I'll get something on Amazon to do it myself. I don't know when hairy backs became like an unwanted hair type of thing, but the truth is in our society today, it is not attractive to have a hairy back. So, you know, plan accordingly if you're going to the beach, if you're going to the pool, if you're taking your shirt off. The next huge grooming mistakes that I see a lot of guys making is having dry skin. Dry skin is something that can be easily fixed, right? Moisturizers, drinking tons of water, that will definitely help. So make sure that you have a decent skincare routine. And today's video sponsor, Tiege Hanley, has everything you need to give you an amazing, but also very easy to use skincare routine. Their products are top notch and literally everything you need comes in this box. So you have everything from face wash to moisturizer to scrubs, even their new body wash. You even get this pamphlet here, how to use Tiege Hanley skincare system. I mean, everything is very detailed. So this is perfect for guys who are just starting out and don't really know where to start. If you don't have a skincare routine yet, if you're using a bar of soap on your face, which you definitely should not be doing that, that's probably why your face is dry, or if you're using your girlfriend's products for whatever reason. These are made for men, these are made for you. And the cool thing about Teach Hanley is that you pick the products that you want delivered to your doorstep, right? So if you have dark circles, they have an eye cream for that. If you want to be outside and go outdoors, they have an AM moisturizer that has SPF and sunscreen in the moisturizer, so you can do that safely, right? You're not 
not gonna get sun damage, you're not gonna get wrinkles. If you have acne, pimples, blackheads, they have acne specific products that will help you alleviate that issue. So you start with the basic and then you can add on all of the products that you need to personalize your skincare routine. And that's amazing because you get exactly what you need and not a ton of products that you don't know how to pronounce or know how to use that are just gonna sit in your medicine cabinet for years until they're expired and one day you decide to throw them away. That is not Tiege Hanley, they make it easy. They are not about being complicated at all. And guys, all you have to do is click the first link in the description below and sign up on their website. And by the way, if you do use the link below, you get a special gift as well, a free gift just for using that link below. And I'm telling you, your skin will be so much better. Dry skin has no place in a man's life. It is just one more worry that you do not need. Right, so make sure that you're washing your face twice a day, moisturizing twice a day, and just follow the guidelines that Tiege Handling will literally send you in the box. It's very, very easy to use, very self-explanatory. They even tell you the usage amounts and how much of each product you should be using. Very easy, again, to use. Thank you, Tiege Handley, for sponsoring today's video. Guys, it's the first link in the description below. And of course, the moisturizer will definitely help and their night cream will definitely help keeping your skin hydrated. But one thing you have to remember is that it also comes from inside, right? You have to drink a lot of water because your skin needs to, to be hydrated, to be fresh, especially in the summertime, especially if you live somewhere dry, like I live in LA, it's pretty dry over here. So I try to drink as much water as possible to keep my skin looking good. But not only skin, I mean, when you drink water, I'm talking about hydrating your muscles, hydrating your scalp that can get pretty dry, your skin. And there are so many other benefits to drinking a ton of water, the appropriate amount of water every single day. So stay hydrated. Speaking of crusty, dry skin, <laughs> man, the word crusty is just so like, ugh, right? It's pretty gross. But the truth is, crusty lips is even grosser. Your lips are so prominent, right? They're a very prominent, visible part of your face. And when you're talking, a lot of people look at your lips to kind of understand what you're saying. If your lips are chapped or cracked, then people are gonna notice that within minutes of meeting you. And unfortunately, a lot of guys don't notice that, which is crazy because it's actually painful, right? I've had chapped lips and it's actually painful. So whether you're going out at night, going out on a date, a formal occasion or anything like that, make sure that you are using or bringing chapstick. No girl's gonna wanna kiss you or make out with you if your lips are all chapped, crusty and cracked. Ah, man, that sounds, that sounds bad. I always have chapstick on me, especially when I'm traveling on the plane because it's so dry in there. But also nowadays, you know, first of all, it's very small, you can put it in your pocket. But also nowadays, a lot of guys are wearing those bags, right? So you can actually just put them into your bag. Make sure that you're carrying chapstick with you at all times to keep your lips moisturized. This next mistake is something that a lot of guys don't even realize they're making, and that is just wearing way too much cologne. It is so good to smell amazing. I have way more colognes than the average guy. If you guys watch my fragrance collection video, then you saw that. But I make sure to not overspray because when you do that, it just fills the air. It feels like you're drowning people in your own scent and, you, and, and depending on the cologne, it's just too much. Depending on the space, if it's a small space, if it's in the office, it's actually not good. It's not attractive, you're not sexy, like I don't know why guys do it because I think they just think that they want everyone to smell them, but that's not true. You want people to come into your bubble, intimate bubble, right? And then smell you. You don't want people across the hallway to be able to smell you, that is too much. That's actually a turnoff. And also if you're wearing that in the office, it can actually give people migraines and even allergic reactions. So when you apply too much cologne, you're putting other people's health at risk. That's how bad it is. So tone it down. I would say between four and six sprays, that is an appropriate amount of cologne, depending on how strong that cologne is. Next up, dirty nails, biting nails, jaggedy nails. This is something that most guys are guilty of, me included. When I'm anxious, guys, I gotta let you, like I, I really do bite my nails. That's something that I do and it's so annoying. But as soon as I notice, I stop because I do wanna make sure that I have nice nails. Girls definitely notice that. So if you guys are looking for a date, if you're going on a date, it's definitely noticeable. Dirty nails are indicators of bad hygiene, right? It makes people look at you and say, I don't know if this guy takes good care of himself and that's not what you want. If you guys are watching this channel, if you're watching this video, then you're trying to look your absolute best. You're trying to find your true potential, your full potential. And on a psychological level, if you're biting your nails around people, people are going to think that you are anxious, that you are nervous and that you are not confident. So that is also another bad side effect of biting your nails. It just makes you look like you're not a confident guy. This next grooming mistake, it's just something that I, I cannot deal with. I cannot deal with, and I'm sure it's the same for you guys. And I'm talking about having bad breath. When somebody looks amazing, incredible, 
the perfect outfit, right? I'm talking like, wow, this guy came out straight from Pinterest. He looks amazing, the hair is good. And then you talk to this person, they have bad breath. That is just the biggest turn off. Why? First of all, it's a sign of bad oral hygiene, right? But also, it's kind of hard to talk to someone when they have bad breath. And you guys know this, you know, it, it, it sounds bad, but it's, it's true. If you're talking to someone and they have bad breath, you're kind of like, I just want this conversation to be over. You know, I'm not enjoying this, so I'm gonna go over here. And that's going to be happening to you if you have bad breath. So make sure that you're flossing every day. You know, make sure that you're brushing your teeth twice a day. And make sure that you're gargling some mouthwash. That is all it needs. And if you're going out after dinner, if you're going to a bar, or if you're going to see someone after you just had lunch or dinner or coffee, then bring some gum, bring some mints, because that will definitely be helpful. And get your skin in check with Tiege Handley. It's the first link in the description below. If you click that link, you get a special free gift as well. So make sure to go check it out now. Thank you, Tiege Handley, for sponsoring today's video. You guys can find me on TikTok and Instagram. It's at Alex Costa. And I have a brand new YouTube channel where I've been posting short tips on fashion, grooming, dating, and so much more. It's listed below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you again very, very soon. Peace.